Hey, what is going on YouTube and welcome at my channel. My name is the Blu-ray Collector and today guys I have a new stack of Blu-rays. Let's first start uh, with saying that all these Blu-rays were on the cheap besides one title. The reason for that is there was an Amazon price glitch. Um, I think a week ago or something. I saw it on Blu-ray.com where you could uh, mix match uh, between 2 for 10 and 3 for 20. And uh, every title that was in the 3 for 20 section and 2 for 10 section, you know, uh, they put it up double. So you could add an extra title. So uh, every title is like 3, 4 pounds instead of 7, 8 pounds. So that was pretty cheap. Uh, let's first start with uh, the titles that I already saw this week. Let's start with the one I actually just finished watching. And that is uh, Star Trek. Uh, I have to say I enjoyed this movie. This was a really good watch. I think it's um, better than some of the older Star Trek movies, to be honest. Um, I really liked this, the, the special effects in the movie. The music was good. The casting was mm, 7 out of 10. I think the Captain Kirk is a, is a good pick. And also uh, the Spock one is, is a decent one. He is not better than the older Spock, but you know. Uh, I think J.J. Abrams uh, did a great job with making this Star Trek and I'm looking forward to watch the other two Into Darkness and Beyond. Then a movie I saw yesterday and I heard that this is actually a remake or like a copy of an original Argentinian movie but I'm not too sure about that but that is Secret in the Rise with Nicole Kidman and Julia Roberts and uh, Chavital Ajifor. Um Actually, this movie surprised me. It is really low rated on IMDb, I think 6 out of 10. But I enjoyed it. I think it was a decent movie. It is a thriller. Uh, some plot twist here and there, which was actually kind of surprising to me. I didn't expect it that. So, yeah. Not that bad. Secret in the Rise. Then a classic one, The Money Pit. It is years and years and years ago I saw this one. And I actually rewatched it last week. Uh, Tom Hanks and Shelley Long. I think we all know this movie. It's about a guy and a girl who are actually uh, trying to buy a house or, you know, get a place for themselves and then everything went wrong. It is a decent cult comedy from back in the days. I laughed sometimes, not that hard, but, you know, I already saw this. I know what's going to happen, so... You know, that's always a different watch than when you watch a comedy for the very first time. But it was definitely a, a decent comedy, The Money Pit. Then one of my favorite cartoons from back in the days. <coughs> Sorry, The Jetsons Movie. Uh, really low rated, I understand why. But, you know, it is a fun family uh, cartoon to watch when you have little children. The Jetsons are always nice, you know, and Hannah Barbera just, just rocks it, you know, Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons, etc, etc. It's always a nice watch, The Jetsons. Then a movie I didn't like that, actually, and that is Duel, Steven Spielberg's first film, as you can see on the front cover. It's about a, a guy who is actually just driving um, to home or to his work, I don't remember, actually. And there is a guy in a truck who is following him and, and, and chasing him, and he, he doesn't know him, and uh, yeah, that is actually the movie, so one hour and 30 minutes the only thing you see is that this truck guy is hunting him or chasing him and he's getting you know a little bit psychopathic in his head about it and he's like yo what is this dude doing and you know he's going to be yeah so and the ending is kind of meh you know oh, okay i see that coming so yeah uh, but for the first movie of steven spielberg why not then a DC animated one, Wonder Woman, I didn't have it yet in the collection. Um, DC Universe animated movies are most of the time really, really good, especially the Batman ones. But this one, eh, 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 didn't like it. I, I hope the, the movie with Gal Gadot will be better. Then, this is an awesome release, Raising Kane by Arrow. Um, Brian De Palma, I love Brian De Palma, and uh, this release is fantastic. 
this movie is actually also kind of low rated on IMDb etc but I really liked it especially the guy who is playing Kane and that is John Lithgow he is a fantastic actor at first but he has a multiple personality disorder uh, how do you say that yeah he's ill in his head actually and he he is multiple persons at the same time it, the movie actually creeped the hell out of me at some point and that is because John Lithgow is just doing an amazing job in this movie you have to check this movie out I will not spoil anything but this movie is fantastic I don't think there is a sequel to it I think there should be because of the ending but this movie is great and you know the release of Arrow is fantastic it is a limited edition I don't know how how limited because you cannot see it on the back but you got the theatrical version and the what is it director's cut and you got all the interviews behind the scenes awesome pick this up it I think it's 15 or 20 pounds then a stack of six movies I didn't watch yet these are the last six of this update the first one is Ex Machina or Machina or whatever. Probably going to watch this today or tomorrow. I heard great things about this movie. So yeah. Then one that is, I think, a classic everybody should have in his collection. My Fair Lady with Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, what can I say? This is an awesome musical type film. Uh, sad thing is it, it came in like the whole slip was kind of I don't know wrapped up or destroyed so I had to fix it but I don't know how that happened but yeah my fair lady awesome then a movie I actually picked up because of the cast and because of the title Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton in the best little whorehouse in Texas I think this is a cheesy funny movie uh, it is a music type of movie, if I'm correct, and I never saw this. I know Burt Reynolds, of course, and Dolly Parton as well, but I never saw this on TV or on DVD or something. I don't know anything about this. So if, if you guys uh, know something about this movie, let me know in the comments section down below and let me know if it's good or not. And like I said, they were all like two, three pounds. Then that's army this is also not a fantastic movie but the cast seems interesting to me and uh, the funny thing is this sticker on it 1299 uca security protected i don't know what it what it ha what it means i still need to sell the digital uh, uv code and the first thing i saw was this guy here he is from police academy right he is the the fun um, sergeant or how do you captain or whatever ah, i forgot his name he's so funny in police academy though katrina zeta jones is also in this and uh, yeah this is a comedy so i hope it's decent but i guess it's not then a movie i'm actually really looking forward to watch and that is the stanford prison experiment i love documentary kind of movies I think this is a kind of a documentary movie it is a real movie though but it's based on a true story um, and um, it's not that high rated actually but I'm really looking forward to watch this for the simple reason that I want to see what they did to all those uh, young people that were sent to prison to to do tests with them that is actually uh, the thing so it's based on the notorious true story Billy Crudup startup Stanford University in 1971 cast 24 student volunteers as prisoners and guards in a simulated jail to examine the, sor the source of abusive behavior in the prison system. Interesting guys, interesting. If you saw this, let me know because I'm really looking forward to watch that one. And then the last one is Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, this was really really cheap it was actually cheaper than when i buy it here over here in the netherlands i think it's four pounds or something which is awesome because this movie is the follow-up on uh, the one i saw today star trek and the follow-up on this one is star trek beyond but that is uh, kind of expensive to me 15 pounds is i don't want to pay um, 
a top price for new movies I just wait on them you know because collecting movies is really expensive especially arrow and indicator and stuff like that so better just uh, grab it when it's in the in the bargain bin or something but yeah Star Trek into darkness really looking forward to watch this uh, almost the same cast as the the uh, the prequel to this one the, the Star Trek one so yeah guys um, this was it for this week I hope you enjoyed it you can follow me on Instagram if you want. Um, let me know what you think about these movies in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.